Okay, a little bit of food review and um, preparation on this uh, Wise Foods teriyaki rice. I've uh, juiced it up with a little beef jerky and we'll show how this comes about. Okay, so this is one of the uh, Wise Food Company menu items and I've been buying this stuff, basically sampling it. We're going to try it. We'll do this uh, with some video stuff so you can see exactly what's going on. Uh, I have bought other long-term storage food, just went and bought it in bulk without sampling it. And uh, that stuff actually remains to be reviewed. Uh, this stuff was available at Walmart in smaller containers, smaller quantities. I could buy the single packs and, and kind of see what this is. A little bit more expensive per serving, but the thing is it's already broken up. They saved a lot of the work involved with uh, breaking it up, mixing and rebagging. So these are pretty good for convenience not quite backpacker food it's not quite in the realm of uh, mountain house for example so this one is a teriyaki rice now teriyaki usually I'm thinking beef or chicken or pork when something is is uh, done with teriyaki this is a vegetarian meal so if you want meat with it we're gonna add meat okay and and I want meat with it so I'm gonna add meat uh, of course, endorsed by Marie Osmond, uh, Wise Food Company is a Mormon-run company, I believe out of Utah. Uh, we can see our, our nutrition stuff here. It, basically, what I'm looking at is, you know, we're a little bit high on, on carbs, but that's, that's not bad in a survival situation. We've got four servings. Now, that does not mean it's going to serve four people. We're going to take a look at that, and you can make your own judgment on the serving size. But then, per serving, we're, uh, you know, a little high in the salt, but not horribly high in the salt. And then, of course, six grams of protein per serving, which is a, a respectable amount of protein, but we kind of want to boost that in a survival situation. And where this stuff would really be good excellent idea is if you have game meat available okay rabbit duck uh, deer meat something like that then this stuff is really good long-term storage of meat is problematic but if you're gonna make beef jerky on site deer meat jerky venison duck that sort of a thing that's where the stuff really comes into play uh, in cabin and RV type stuff where your cooking facilities may be a little bit more limited than at a house but you still have something that's not just a backpacker stove so this stuff requires um, four cups of boiling water what I have in this little saucepan here and you can see in comparison to my hand that's that's actually four cups of water plus one-third of a cup because I'm going to be adding some other stuff that is somewhat dehydrated and I want to account for a little bit of boil off when I uh, boil this. So next we'll, we'll boil this while we take a look at what comes in this package. Okay, so what comes in this? Well, we've got the oxygen absorber. Obviously you don't eat that, throw it away. Or if you're repackaging other types of preserved food, you can kind of sort of save and reuse these by putting them in the, the sun, make sure they're fully dried out, and then put them in with other stuff, and it kind of sort of works. Uh, so this is the stuff. It's, it, it, you've got some rice. You've got some uh, uh, dehydrated vegetable stuff. I recognize some broccoli, probably some kind of pepper here, um, you know, basically what's on, on the, uh, the cover. Now, for adding meat, there is a little trick. Um, scissors can be used as a kitchen item and the idea is we cut up the teriyaki beef jerky like if this is teriyaki rice you'd use teriyaki beef jerky otherwise you know you venison or duck meat or whatever uh, the idea is that you, you spruce this stuff up a little bit there's there's two things that are generally not going to be in something that's dried or freeze dried and that's fat um, uh, oils and then meat Okay, so the other oil element that we might use on something like this would be, uh, I prefer to store olive oil, other people will use sesame oil. If it's an Asian dish, you know, use sesame oil, but you need to have those separate. You can't like dehydrate something that has a bunch of sesame oil in it or, or it's just weird. Uh, if you want to go with the Thai flavor on that, you could use peanut oil. But this is the basic stuff. And one of the things you got to understand is to make this 
more palatable. You want to do something more than just the basic stuff, but this is a good food base for you know other types of scavenged food. If you have garden food or something like that, sure you add it to it, you add it to the pot. Okay, so this is basically the the teriyaki beef jerky cut up with scissors and put in here. Uh, again, because part of the freeze drying process and everything removes a lot of oils or dries them out, and oils do kind of kind of sort of evaporate on this because there's a fair amount of water content in edible oils. What I have here is sesame oil that I'm just kind of adding to this right now. We may do more later, but also realize that if you are backpacking that in or you're storing it, you may not be storing that oil in the same volume as a freeze-dried food. The oil can still go about five years, while the freeze-dried food would need to go, um, you know, that, that can go longer. But you, you keep those elements separate uh, prior to cooking and then add them together. And we're just going to wait for that uh, boiling water to come in. And we don't pour the boiling water into this. We have to put this into the pot and then cover it and kind of let it simmer or sit for a little bit to absorb everything. Okay, so boiling water and our mix. Whatever doesn't fall onto the, uh, the thing there. We've got that going. We're going to turn the heat down to low. Uh, I'm going to grab a spoon and stir that a little bit and we'll be back in Okay, so... I'm guessing there's cornstarch involved with this. We're barely a minute into this. I'm simmering it with the pot open. If I get a little steam off, that's okay. I added an extra third of a cup of water to compensate for that. But I notice this stuff kind of thickens up in a hurry, which kind of usually tells me there's some cornstarch in there or something like that. And um, I'm not saying it looks all that appetizing. It's definitely not like uh, what's on the packaging. But we're, we're going to let that sit and absorb water. Uh, basically, if you get a little more time, the better it's going to be. Uh, you, you don't need it really hot when you're eating it. You just want it kind of warm. And so this does lend itself to thermos cooking, which you can look up on other videos. Uh, but remember that the time involved with thermos cooking is such that under those circumstances, you want to use uh, scalding hot water and pre-cook the meat unless it was like jerky meat or something like that you know something that's already been salted and dried and and uh, had all the bacteria killed out of it so thermos cooking you don't want to do that with raw meat um, with this situation I noticed the coloration that this has picked up I'm guessing some of that comes from the beef jerky other of it probably comes with whatever soup base or soup stock teriyaki stock was um, in the uh, in the in the stuff to begin with so a lot of what you're paying for on this is that preparation convenience and you can see how the consistency of this it's thickened up a little bit because of the cornstarch in it um, they basically added all of the other ingredients to the rice to make it a meal now this is where I followed the directions and kind of dressed it up a little bit with the added meat this is what the picture on the package looks like. Uh, not exactly the same thing, but this is a realistic review. If you want a relatively convenient boil water type food, this can work. Again, I'd say as is with nothing added, it's not going to be all that wonderful. Add a little bit of uh, olive oil or uh, sesame oil, you're that much better off. And then of course adding meat, which would be game meat or preserved meat. In this case, it was teriyaki beef jerky.